Hi, this video shows 40k SSL VPN authentication with Azure AD. Here we have a remote user attempting to connect to 40k via SSL VPN. The authentication request is redirected to Azure AD as Identity Provider or IDP for short. Once the authentication is completed on Azure AD, the remote user is then redirected back to 40k to establish the SSL VPN connection. Let's take a look at the remote user experience. The remote user uses the web browser to establish a WebMo SSL VPN. When the user click on single sign-on, the authentication request is redirected to Azure AD, and when the authentication completes, the user is redirected back to the firewall to establish the SSL VPN connection. Here, the user could download the 40 client, as well as checking the SSL VPN connection by clicking on the application button. The user experience in 40 client is somewhat similar. When the user clicks on the SAML login, the authentication request is redirected to Azure AD in a web browser. Once the authentication request completes, the user is redirected back to 40 gate to establish the SSL VPN connection. Once it's connected, the user then can test the VPN connection by accessing an internal application. Let's transition over to the admin experience of configuring the 40 gate for the authentication with Azure AD. Not including the configuration on the Azure AD, there are five steps on the 40 gate that needs to be completed. Let's jump into the first step of configuring the CLI, SAML IDP, and the user group. Log on to Azure to complete the Azure AD configuration. Click on Enterprise Application. Create a new application. In this case, we already have one created. After the application is created, you need to assign the users and user groups. After it's completed, go to the single sign-on configuration. Before complete the basic SAML configuration, access the sample CLI config on 49.com. Copy the sample CLI configuration into a text editor. Then replace the text 40 gate IP address with the actual IP address of the 40 gate. Also, replace the text custom SSL VPN port with the actual port number. Copy the URL with the port number and replace them in the single sign on URL and the single logout URL. The information just completed of entity ID, single sign-on URL, single logout URL needs to be transferred over to the basic SAML configuration in Azure AD. Please note, the reply URL is the same as the single sign-on URL. Next, we need to take the SAML configuration of login URL, Azure AD identifier, and the logout URL onto the CLI command in the text editor. Moving on to the next step, importing of the Azure AD certificate. Download the certificate in Azure AD, then go back to 40 gate, click on Systems, Certificates, Import, Remote Certificate. Once the upload is complete, copy the certificate name, which will be used in the CLI command. In the text editor, replace the text certificate imported earlier with the name of the certificate. To configure the set username, go back to Azure AD, click on User Attribute and Claims. Click on the user.principal name. Copy the name exactly as is seen in Azure AD. Replace the text Azure Username Attribute with the text copy from Azure AD. Next, type set user dash group colon group colon and double check the configuration is identical in Azure AD with the group name. Next, go back to the sample config and copy the user group configuration into the text editor. Copy the SAML server name and paste it in the user group configuration. Next, go back to Azure AD, click on Users and Groups, click on the username, click on Group, copy the object ID. and paste it in the set user group name in the text editor. The CLI commands is now complete in the text editor. Copy the commands, access the 40 gate CLI, and paste the configuration into the CLI command line. Moving on to step three of configuring SSL VPN portal. In 40 gate, click on VPN, SSL VPN portals, create new, in our case, we have one created. Complete the name, Make sure tunnel mode is on. 
enable based on policy destination, routing address override, source pool. Make sure enable web mode is turned on as well. And finally, configure a predefined bookmark. Moving on to step four, configure SSL VPN settings. In FortiGate, click on SSL VPN settings. Make sure enable SSL VPN is on. Specify the listening on interface, listening on port. Scroll down to the bottom to configure the authentication slash port mapping. In the portal, click on the portal that I just configured. And the configuration of SSL VPN settings is complete. The final step in the 40 gate is the configuring of the firewall policy. In the 40 gate, click on policy and objects, firewall policy, create new. In this case, we have one created already. Fill in the name. Set the incoming interface to the SSL VPN tunnel interface. Specify the outgoing interface. Configure the source. Select the user group that was configured in the CLI command. Configure destination. Servers, make sure all services are turned on. This concludes the configuration of the 40 gate. Thank you for watching.